grounds crew putting the finishing touches on this one. Game four of the American League Division Series, and we expect another sold-out, raucous, rabid crowd here tonight as the Twins try to stave off elimination and force a game five on Friday in Houston. Now, the Twins had uh, some news to announce earlier today, a change to their playoff roster. Alex Kirloff has been placed on the injured list with a shoulder injury that has been plaguing him for quite some time, and Byron Buxton will be active today for Minnesota, not in the starting lineup, but that will be a hot topic of conversation. Joe Ryan's first outing in the postseason was slated to start game three against Toronto. That became unnecessary with a twin sweep, and he hopes to keep the Twins' hopes alive into a game five with a start today. He has struggled against the Astros in his career, one and two with an 8-3-6 earned run average. Jose Altuve climbs in. Joe Ryan makes his playoff debut in the biggest moment of his life, and he gets Altuve to bounce one to Correa. On the move, two first, one away. So Correa tested right away and threw out his buddy and former teammate and Jose Altuve on a weak ground ball to short. So one pitch, one swing, and a big out there. Base is empty now for Alex Bregman. And the 3-1 pitch is sky to the air, playable. Shallow center. Michael A. Taylor eyes it, looking up to the beautiful Minnesota blue skies. Next to catch, two down. Jordan Alvarez was at quite the October run thus far. Six for 12 in this series. All six hits, extra bases, four homers and two doubles. And the 2-1 pitch. Fly ball softly left field. Castro coming on, coming on. He's got it. And that's a good start for Joe Ryan. A 1-2-3 first inning. And the Twins are coming up with Eddie Julian, Ray Polanco, and Royce Lewis against right-hander Jose Urquidy tonight. Jose Urquidy just one start in his last 48 days. They handed him the ball to start on the final weekend of the regular season, a must-win game. He went six scoreless against Arizona. So Jose Urquidy, who's had an up-and-down year, getting the ball from Dusty Baker in a big spot today. Edward Julian, the DH, will lead things off. Julian hits it hard. Deep right center field. On the move is McCormick. Back to the wall, and it's off the fence. Julian speeding into second base. It's a leadoff first inning double. So he's at second base. Nobody out, and now it's up to Jorge Polanco. Twins have a chance to strike right away. No score. Polanco back up the middle. Caught by Pena. Diving attempt at the tag. What a play by Jeremy Pena. Julian tried to get back to that second base bag, but that is another exceptional and important defensive play by the Gold Glover. A double play in the first. Royce last night, 0 for 4, struck out twice. as a home run with 13 at-bats in this series. Lewis hits it high, hits it deep to left. What a recovery. 1-0 Minnesota. Royce Lewis does it again. His fourth postseason home run. And the Twins have a one nothing lead here at Target Field. Lewis has tied the great Hall of Famer, the late Kirby Puckett, most home runs in one single postseason with four. Royce Lewis from down 0-2 in the count, fouls away a 1-2, and hits his fourth home run of the postseason, and they're back to life here at Target Field. At the end of one, Twins one, Astros nothing. Kyle Tucker will stand in for the Astros. Tucker with an RBI single in game three. He is two for 10. But he's off to an excellent start tonight. Four up, four down against one of the toughest stretches of lineups in a Major League Baseball roster. Now it's Michael Brantley who did not play in game three. Brantley two for seven. No home runs or RBIs. Brantley hits one deep to right, turning around is Kepler, trying to play it off the wall. He won't get the chance. Michael Brantley, a professional hitter, as Dusty Baker says, comes up with a big hit to tie this game at one. Oh, the Twins have seen that for years and years when Michael was playing in the American League Central with Cleveland. And we're all tied after an inning and a half in game four of the American League Division Series. Astros won, Twins won. Bottom of the second, Carlos Correa leads it off against Jose Urquidy. Urquidy allowed a home run to Royce Lewis in the first. Strike three call. Froze him with a fastball that was over the inner third, and Correa goes down looking for Urquidy's first strikeout. One out, nobody on for catcher Ryan Jeffers. Swing and a miss. Jeffers goes down on a high fastball. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Urquidy, and there are two away. And now it's Willie Castro, switch hitting left fielder. Started in center field yesterday. Swing and a miss. Castro goes down on three pitches, and Jose Urquidy strikes out the side. We're through two innings. Astros won. One twins one. Donovan Solano, the first baseman, will lead things off. Urquidy's out there. See how far Dusty Baker can get Urquidy to go. Struck out the side at last inning. 
Got him. Strike three. Tipped it foul into the catcher's glove. Just ticked it barely on the changeup. Eric Eady, all of a sudden, has struck out four in a row, one away. Michael A. Taylor, the batter, their ninth place hitter, their center fielder. Got him, strike three, five in a row, strikeouts for Urquidy. He's on target, and there's two away. So a two-out walk, barely missing upstairs. That's the first walk of the game for Urquidy. Pulled to the right side, Altuve gloves it. Onto his knees, pops up, and he throws out Polanco for the third out of the inning. So Bill Ryan lifted after two innings. It's a 1-1 game. And Rocco trying to get through this fourth inning here, the middle beat of the lineup with Caleb Thielbar. Thielbar gave up a home run to Alvarez out in Minute Maid Park. And see how he features here. The 1-2. Oh. Liner into right center field, and that's going to be a base hit. A pretty good pitch, low and away, but Alvarez covering the entire plate. Leads off with a single here in the fourth. Another lefty. This time it's Kyle Tucker. Got by him. 94 fastball. Tucker right underneath, and that's the first out of the inning. Here's Abreu. Abreu with those two homers yesterday, and they just weren't two measly homers. Rifled right center field and deep. Going back on it. Good one. Good night. Abreu with a two-run shot to right center field. Boy, that was crushed by Jose Abreu. This time he goes the opposite field. He had two pulled to left yesterday. He is on fire right now. His third in two games in Minneapolis. And he puts the Astros on top, 3-1. to one. That's the game you play when you bring in a lefty to face a minimum of three hitters against the Astros. And after five innings in game four of the American League Division Series, Astros three, Twins one. Chris Paddock still out there. He's thrown an inning in the third, allowing just one hit. And Jordan Alvarez stands in. He singled and scored in the fourth. And a swing and a miss chased in the dirt. So Alvarez strikes out. Third punch out for Paddock. And here's Tucker to bat. Having a rough night. Three punch outs for the right fielder. That's three strikeouts in a row for Chris Paddock. And this is the kind of performance here that'll kind of energize and charge up the offense. Definitely the fans. And here's Abreu. Popped up right side, might be playable. Solano in foul territory. Solano squares up, makes the catch. Nice job as Paddock comes off the field to a standing ovation. Let's go, Minnesota. We trail 3-1. And now it's out for the order. Julian, he's been on twice, double and a walk. Twins just two hits. Both those hits came in the first inning. Julian lifts one the other way. Well struck to left. Brantley ranging back at the wall. And Edward Julian comes up with his first playoff home. Is a big leaguer. It cuts the lead to one in the sixth. Here goes the crowd. They just needed something to believe in. And sometimes it's just one swing of the bat that can ignite a team and ignite a crowd. 40,977. We're looking for something to cheer for. They found something here in the sixth. The solo shot by Julian to make it 3 2. And that gets the crowd into it. They've been sitting on their hands for a while. So one out. Nobody on for Jorge Polanco, who's 0 for 2. Here's the 3 2 to Jorge Polanco. And he lifts this one in the right, fairly deep. Tucker to his right, McCormick to his left in the right center. McCormick with the catch, about three steps from the warning track. And Polanco is the second out, and that'll get Dusty Baker out of the dugout. Dusty Baker with some words before patting him on the back and taking the baseball. Yeah, great game. Here's Max Kepler. Lewis, the tying run at first. Kepler, the go-ahead run at the plate, has popped out and flied out. Long set. There he goes. The 2-2 is strike three. Call on the inside corner, and down goes Kepler. Lewis had taken off for second, but Kepler called out on strikes, and the side is retired. Twins get a run on the home run by Julian. And after six innings, Astros three, Twins two. We go to the bottom of the eighth in game four of the American League Division Series. Astros three, Twins two. Can the Twins offense make some noise? A quiet night with their season on the line. Brian Abreu, third pitcher used by the Astros tonight. His third appearance this series. Two and a third scoreless innings. Two hits. Hasn't walked anyone. He's going to face Donovan Solano to start the bottom of the eighth. Solano has struck out twice today. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Got him on a slider away. One out. That's 10 strikeouts for Astros pitchers tonight. And here comes Buxton. Buxton did not play in the field at all this season. Missed almost all of the final two months. A hamstring strain at the beginning of August. Suffered a setback at the start of September when he was dealing with knee issues. Here he is. Active.
active and in the box to try to make an impact against Abreu. Game's on the line. Here you go, big boy. He flips one towards first. Abreu's there. There are two down. Oh. Buxton goes down with a pop out. Now Julian, who hit a home run in the sixth to make it a one run game. Did he go around on the pitch upstairs? He did, says Brian Knight at third. And down goes Julian. A one, two, three, eighth for Brian Abreu. We go to the ninth in game four of the American League Division Series. Astros three, Twins two. Astros with a two games to one lead in the AL Division Series and lead three to two over the Twins. In game four, need three outs to advance. Brian Presley on to try and get those final three outs. 12 for 12 and save chances in his postseason career. Jorge Polanco leads it off. He's 0 for 3. Flight out to deep right center. Everyone at target field is on their feet. 3-2 to Polanco. Swing and a foul tip held on to by Maldonado. Polanco strikes out, and there is one out in the bottom of the ninth. Now it's Royce Lewis who homered in the first to get the Twins on the board. 3-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out on a curveball. And the Twins are down to their final out. Ryan Presley trying to end the season of the team with which he made his Major League debut and played his first six seasons with for getting traded to the Astros at the deadline in 2018. Max Kepler, the final hope for Minnesota. He is 0-3 tonight. Struck out looking his last time up in the six. Strike three call on the outside corner. And that is the ball game. And that is the series. The Houston Astros defeat the Minnesota Twins by a final of three to two. And they take the ALDS three games to one. For a seventh straight year, the American League Championship Series will include the Houston Astros. The Twins give the Astros everything they could handle. The Astros have a date with the Texas Rangers in the American League Championship Series beginning on Sunday night at Minute Maid Park.